Nation. Hi. Week 11 is complete, the Matt Knight Fantasy Football Extravaganza. I am Matt Knight, and just as a little thing, uh, he always wonders what I'm going to do to embarrass him. And I'm talking about my buddy right behind the camera, Tom Stark. Tom is responsible for our website. He's responsible for all the videos we put up here. Tom doesn't get enough credit. So for this particular video update, I'm going to just erase the behind, whatever my background is here. And I'm just going to, for the entire report, the Jets logo. There it is. There it is. The Jets win. Tom gets a full report of seeing nothing but j I'm surrounded by gangrene. So for Tom, there you go, buddy. Congratulations. Their second win of the year. Two and eight. A uh, two and eight. They have a shot. There's a, there are only nine games behind the Patriots. Which brings us into the week 11 as I segue into the recap of this past week. All right. Let's just scroll through the people up uh, uh, above me here. Brady, Owens, Moss, Tony Romo. You got it? You done? Perfect. Let's talk about uh, Chester Taylor real quick. Chester Taylor filled in for Adrian Peterson, and I told you guys that Adrian was probably going to be out this past week, and uh, he was. Chester Taylor filled in with a ridiculous performance. He had 164 yards, three touchdowns. Chester Taylor was the number four guy behind the, f uh, the number five guy behind all the four guys that I just mentioned here before this past week. Chester Taylor is going to have a pretty decent week next week, possibly, but uh, he faced Oakland this past week. He's got the Giants defense, which is doing pretty well this year, as uh, everybody probably knows. They've been doing pretty well this year. So you may just want to, um, uh, with caution, proceed with caution for Chester Taylor, but he's going to get another star because Adrian Peterson is going to be out. Chester Taylor from Minnesota. Uh, Warwick Dunn, let me talk real quick about Warwick Dunn and then move on from him because he just absolutely annoyed the ever-living out of me this past week. Picked him up in my fantasy league. And uh, I expect him to have a pretty decent week with Jarius Norwood out. Yeah, that team stinks. 36 yards total, no touchdowns, an absolute disaster for Warwick Dunn. He got like three points in head-to-head uh, -head points leagues and did nothing for you if you thought you were going to get a nice little uh, flyer week off of him. Did nothing. Drop Warwick Dunn. Don't even bother. He's a shell of his former self. Just move on from him. He's a complete waste of time. And uh, let me tell you something else about a complete waste of time. I got a lot of messages this past week uh, saying that, hey, how did you do so bad? Uh, why was your week so terrible? You only scored 46 points this week? Well, let me explain to you guys. 46, Tom. I got 46 points this week. Well, here's what you got to do, guys. When you're on the site and you're uh, finishing up and doing your lineup, you have to absolutely make sure that you click on the Confirm Your Roster Changes button. Because if you don't click on the Confirm Your Roster Changes button and navigate away from the site, you're going to have the same lineup that you had last week. And my lineup last week consisted of the Bills defense, who this week played the New England Patriots, because I'm really going to take that. Uh, Adrian Peterson, who didn't even play this past week. Oops. Oops. So everybody who's talking yaya -ya to me, it doesn't matter. I did not click the Confirm Your Roster Changes button. So therefore, I had a crappy week. Some people who didn't have crappy weeks are Birdman. Birdman is the Week 11 winner. Birdman is getting himself a uh, gift certificate for Laurie and Me Sports memorabilia in Coltsnick. Let's see, who did he have? Oh, Moss, Brady, Owens, all on his team. Hmm. And I just flashed those guys. I flashed those guys, right, Tom? Before in the beginning of the report? Yeah, so obviously people are geniuses around here. The overall leader this week, uh, I think he's, he was an overall leader at one point, is uh, High Life. Was High Life a leader at one point? I think so. Yeah, Tom? Tom? Tom's checking his stats right now on the computer right behind the camera. High Life is the overall leader uh, with six weeks to go. Uh, we, we need some more participants. We wouldn't mind having some more participants. Thank you to Lori and Me Sports member Billy and Colts Neck for supplying the gift certificates. Thank you to the Sawmill for supplying us with uh, beer. Delicious lots of beer. $2 Miller Lights and Miller Chills during the games Woo! on Sunday. Hooray beer! Yay! We all like a tasty beer. And thank you to the New York Jets for providing my background this week. And thank you to Tom for, well, just being Hey! Hey! What is that noise back here? Did anybody, what was that, Tom? Do you know what that was? was oh, I know what that is. That's a Jets fan hanging himself. Uh, let's move on and take it and just go away and have an enjoyable week 12 and I'll talk to you guys after that. Click confirm roster changes or you will lose like I did. Go Jets.